Jai Ho, my dear children of class 9th. I welcome you all for today's class. And this is your physical instructor. Let us begin our class to know more about the laws in football. In our previous class, we studied about the third law that is the number of players. So what are the number of players and what is the substitution process and many more things. So my dear children, moving ahead to the law number four in football, we shall study about the players equipment. So what are the players equipments? So the equipments are been in every game, every player of different different sports they will be having their own equipment. So when you see a runner, a athlete, they will be having t-shirt, short pant, spikes, shoe. Then when we see in uh, basketball, cricket, bus and then many other games. So let us know in football what is the equipment of the players. So the first thing is jersey so basically everyone may say some of them okay it is a t-shirt so it is a t-shirt but in football term we call it as jersey no J jersey why jerseys are there because a team should be recognized so a team is having a same color uniform as in the schools colleges they have uniform so in football also there is a uniform so everyone should have the same color jerseys then in jersey there will be number of that player and back side they may have their names or they will have the number so to identify ki who is there so already the name of the player will be submitted before the match and the number so same way when the jerseys when they wear it is recognized that the number of that player so it, the official the referee should know so whatever the situations happen in the match so during that time it may happen a foul or they may score a goal or they may get injured so which jersey number is there so on the chest there is a jersey number as well as on the back side there is a jersey number so this is the jersey of a player then the second thing is short pant this is known as short pants so this short pants are long in height so it is up till the knees so, and it is flexible so it should be flexible because they are playing so when well, they are playing they are stretching they are jumping they are running so it has to be flexible that's why it is long so these are called as short pad then as we have socks when we are wearing our school uniform or when we are going for parties we have a small sock same way in football also there is a stocking so instead of socks they call it as stocking because the stockings are long up till our knee height so these are long in size and this is known as stocking then we have a shoes to wear because we are going to run we are going to kick the ball uh, we are going to jump so that's why you can see it is similar like uh, our sports shoes and when you see the down part the sole part of this sh shoes it is known as struts so this shoes is known as struts then down sole part you can see some gits are there so this gits are for controlling the body for running for kicking the ball and you get a good grip so these are the gits below the football shoes and the last important point the last important material the equipment is shin guard so this is the guard so this will protect from the injuries so what kind of injury so there is a bone on our shin so when you see below the knee you can see our long 
bone over there so that bone should not be injured so these are the shin guard so it is made up of some metal inside a cloth elastic and which will protect us from the injury from the hurt in football and even it is made up of plastic so so there are different different varieties of shin guard available in the sports shop so this is the shin guard which will protect our shins while playing so my dear children this is the equipment of the player in football so let us see what what equipments are there one by one again so the first thing as i showed you all was the jersey so it's called as t-shirt so that is jersey then we have short pant stockings studs the football shoes and the last one was shin guard so children it was a short information the fourth law in football the players equipment very soon we shall meet in our next class to know more about the next law in football so till that take care be safe at home have a great day saying bye to you all jai hind